No, that's not how you do it. How to prepare for an interview? What to expect? Sample interview questions and answers. To bank your US visa. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty. If you are joining in new here, I share videos around my lifestyle, blogs, travel blogs, and business. And if you're seeing my face for the first time, I am sharing this video on how to get your US visa. This is the part three. This is the last part of the video. If you haven't watched part one, I'm going to link part one and two in my description box so you don't get lost. So today we're going to be looking at how to prep for your interview, how to, what to expect in front of the visa or the consular officer and sample questions and answers. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> sample questions and answers for your US B1, B2 visa category. And if you love videos on immigration like this, please do not forget to leave a comment down below. I will go an extra mile to do research and pour it out to you guys. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Without further ado, enough of the talking. Let's dive straight into the video. How do you prepare for your visa interview? Remember, you must have followed part one and part two and have all of your documents in a file and ready to go. Now, this is the D day of the interview. How do you prep yourself? How do you prepare? What is the first thing? Of course, if your interview is at 9.30 a.m., what do you do? Do you wake up at 8 o'clock? No. You need to prep your mind psychologically the day before. And do not overdo it. Just be yourself normally. You wake up, do your normal routine, and you are ready to go. The first thing is to create a good impression. Yes, in your dressing and grooming. Dress formally. Just like you're going to, if you're going to meet the president, what will you do? You're going to dress formally and do not dress over casually. Secondly, you need to be calm and confident. Please do not mistake calm and confident with overly confident. Don't go in front of a consular officer and you're like, you know, I'm confident. No, you don't do that because they can detect fakeness from your composure. So be very careful when doing that. Just be yourself calm confident you know just have this prowess like not no you got to be you know third thing is to maintain eye contact maintain eye contact please when i mean by maintain eye contact it's not like you go and you are looking at the consular coffee officer like this or you go you're like this hmm? The romantic kind of... No, that's not the kind of look I'm talking about. The eye contact, maintain eye contact with confidence, you know. Just be you. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough. Number four, keep your required documents at hand. When the consular officer asks, can I see your travel itinerary? You present. Can I see your passport? It's within reach. Not when they ask, uh, where is your passport and you're all over the place, you're opening document, opening file. Hey, where is that file? No, you don't do that. You don't do that, guys. Please avoid it. You have to be well organized in terms of your document. What can A tip I can give you is put your passport first. You put your invitation letter. You put the most, the mandatory document I listed in part two of this video. You put all of them up and you could even tempt them by putting them on a small sticker just beside you so you could easily grab them. Do not be disorganized because it's not going to be healthy. Now let's move to what to expect. What do you expect? There is this myth. <laughs> Let me laugh, guys. There is this myth when you go to the embassy, we have consular officer number one, two, three, four, and if consular officer number one has refused a visa, number two, they refuse visa, you'll be running away from that consular officer. No, my friends, no, my dear family, no, that is not how it operates. Before you appear in front of the consular officer, a decision has been made. Now you need to convince the consular officer you are eligible or you merit what they had already decided. Don't be shocked that you could still go there when a decision has already been made. And because of your composure, your disorganization, 
they strike out the visa. Please. So do not run away from any consulate officer who, who maybe for some reason is denied a particular group of people visas. And you say, no, I'm not going there. No, please avoid that myth. So please, guys, do not choose a consular officer. All of them are the same. And secondly, when you are in front of the consular officer, please keep your answers short and precise. Short and precise. I'm going to term this SP, short and precise. If the consular officer asks you a question, what is your purpose of visiting the United States? I am visiting for work. Straight to the point. I am visiting because of, don't say I am visiting because I, I created a company in 2010. I'm going to see how to manage it and, you know, giving this technological. No. Straight to the point and keep it there. Because the more you start explaining, the more questions. From the explanation you're giving, the more questions the consular officer will derive from there and bombard you and before you know you, are, you start chewing your tongue we don't want that to happen let's look at some of the sample questions after applying all of these tips let's look at some of the sample questions they might turn to ask you at the embassy these are the questions that they asked me let me take I, i'm taking myself as a case study the first thing is who is inviting you like i said short and precise you state the person that is inviting you full stop secondly what is the purpose of your visit to the united states you state the purpose clearly and precisely without talking too much the next question they're going to ask or some of the questions have you ever traveled to the united states before people please if you have traveled say yes if you haven't traveled say no have you ever traveled or have you ever been denied visa before? If you have been denied visa before, then it implies to all countries, yes, I have been denied visa, for example, to France. I've been denied, just yes, just leave it there. If they ask the country that you mention it, please. Again, they can ask you, do you have relatives in the United States? You could name their relatives if you have them. And who will be sponsoring your visit? Are you the one sponsoring your visit? Or is your organization back home sponsoring your visit? And again, where will you be residing in the United States, people? If you do not know, cram, they say in Pigeon in Cameroon, cram that part, memorize that place where you are going to be staying. You can't go to the consular officer without knowing exactly where you'll be staying. So you got to memorize it. Do you have any travel history? You state travel history means have you traveled to some countries before? No and yes, short and precise. Visa, in, in our own case, we were given visa under three minutes. The consular officer asked us, what is the purpose of your visit? For how long will you be staying? Do you have a travel history? And this is where the old passport in, uh, this is where the old passport came in and immediately how, do you have a travel history we said yes how many countries have you been to i didn't mention 15 and one, once i was mentioning 15 countries i was pulling out my passport to confirm and the consulate officer said yes i believe you because she could see on her system they know that was it and we we're given a form to go pay for our visa I hope this video helps someone. I pray it does. It helps someone to ban your US visa. And if you do, if this video helped you, please do not forget. The only support I need is subscribe to the channel. And if you want immigration topics like this, please do not forget to leave your comments down below. So I will know all by liking this video. When you like this video, it tells my algorithm. Yes, this, is, this video is appealing. Thank you so much. Until my next video, ciao!